The following episode of Dad vs. Daughter was made possible by a contribution from Jasco Games. Hello and welcome to another special unboxing episode of Dad vs. Daughter. I'm Tim the Dad. I'm Meg the Daughter. Take it away. Today we are going to open up Buffy the Vampire Slayer board game. This is from Jasco Games. Yeah, this is a game that you actually saw in the Gen Con press room. Yeah, because I'm currently binge watching for the first time Buffy and I was like, oh, it's a board game. Sounds cool. And lifts it over and I was like, yeah really cool so and i know squat about no. buffy other than that's uh sarah michelle geller yes it is yeah that's yeah. about the extent of my knowledge <laughs> of buffy but yeah uh, this game takes place in sunnydale um you have your monster of the week and all and you got the scooby gang so it's all cool Scooby gang. that's what they call them all right yeah. well <laughs> since i don't know anything about it why don't we just open it up and we'll learn together okay all right so this is kind of your thing. Once in every generation, there's a slayer who was chosen to slay them all. Is that... that it's, it's slightly how the intro goes. I probably butchered it. But yeah, that is the introduction to the episode. And Giles does the voiceover. There you go. Into every generation a slayer is born. There we go. That is the actual one. But yes. One girl in all the world. Yeah, it is a girl. It's kind of interesting. But yeah. It's cool. Does I... she ever say, look at this stuff, isn't it neat? No. Wouldn't you think my Slayer collection is complete? All her steaks. Oh, she's got a good weapons collection, actually. That we keep in the high school library. Because that's smart. So here is the rule book. Table of contents, game components. You already looked at all the components. I have, the yeah, time. I did. I actually looked at the um, the other version a lot more, too, which was the expansion with Faith on the cover. I'm surprised they don't have a Supernatural version. That'd be cool, yeah. Your baddies and your townies. Like the Winchesters. The Winchesters. The big bad plot cards, Monster of the Week. That just looks cool. I'm, I'm excited to actually play this one. I know you know absolutely nothing about it. I know it. nothing about will, that. So I should show this, you like two episodes. So this is going to be your thing to learn and teach me for a change. That is kind of interesting, yeah. That guy is awful. I don't like him. The Master. The master vampire. The master vampire. Yeah. Special rules. Rules for two players for a less difficult game. Rules for one player. So frequently asked questions. Probably that less difficult game. Less difficult. Yeah, probably. Example of play. That's good to have too. An appendix of your locations. And item cards in important terms to know. Cool. So this is your city of Sunnydale. It is Sunnydale. It is located on a hell mouth. That, a is, hell mouth. that is that is what it's called. That's why you a have all the mouth. the vampires. Yeah, I know. It's kinda weird. So here we have the cemetery of the Summers residence. Is that Buffy? That yeah. Buffy Buff, Summers. Buffy Summers, yeah. Oh. So Buffy and her mom. That just sounds like Yeah. A, yeah. Yeah. Um so you got Glory's Mansion there, another cemetery, City Hall. How many Magic cemeteries they got? There's a couple. You got you may like a lot of the episodes start with just Buffy fighting The people. Hell Mouth. The Hell Mouth. Yeah, it is. It's the Hell Mouth. That's where the high school's on, which, you know, that's smart, too. So the high school is, is on top of it? It was built on the Hell Mouth, and then, like, spoilers, the, the high school gets destroyed. Well, yeah. On top I of the Hell so. Mouth, yeah. Um, but you have the Crypt. That's kind of where Spike hangs out. The Initiative Base with Adam is Spike and a vampire? Crew. Spike is a vampire, yes. And I've actually shared an elevator with Spike at a Comic-Con. That was actually kind of cool. Um, but yeah, and you've got the Bronze, which is like the best local hangout ever. With local bands play. and you know. Not like the Peach Pit from 90210? I have no idea. I don't know anything about 90. I don't either. So, I have no idea on that one. But here are the big bad cards. Because you got your bad guys. So there's, yeah, there's the master, the first evil, the mayor, Wilkins. Who's, he's bad? Yeah, the mayor's bad. He's is he a vampire? No, he's just arrogant. Is he a minion? He, yeah, he's essentially a minion. And then you got Glory. Um, oop, almost popped that out. Don't do that. But then here we have Looks like Caleb. Nathan Fillion. I actually haven't got to him yet, so I don't know. Because I'm still working on it. And there's Adam that came in when she went to college and was weird. I did not like Adam's storyline. Oh, there's David, uh, what's his name? I don't want to say Borealis. It's That's not, not that. that. No, um, but I've seen his panel at a Comic-Con. We sat in that. But yeah, Angel, and then you got Buffy. They were dating. They were like on and off again. Weird thing. The, the characters or the No, actor, the characters. Man? I don't know if they actually date in real life. Oh. Yeah, I mean, Angel she's Buffy. married to Freddie Prince Jr. Yeah, I know. Who was Fred, Fred and, and Daphne. <laughs> they were Fred and Daphne and that, Scooby-Doo. That was, you know, that's fun. That's the guy from the old Folgers commercial. Really? 
Yeah. Giles, I love Giles. He was also in Doctor Who. He was. He was bad in Doctor yeah, Who. Yeah, and then he was also in Merlin because he's the king. Then you have uh, Allison Hannigan Allison from Hannigan. Uh, the American Pie movies, and now uh, yeah. Penn and Teller. Penn and Teller. That's where you know her from. No, yeah. I know her from the American Pie movies. American Pie. Yeah, I know. But yeah, so she's pretty cool. She's a witch. And one time at band camp. Yeah, and then you have Xander Harris. Right? Xander. Xander. Yeah. If you had a brother, he, I want to name him Xander. Yeah. Alexander and call him Xander. Your mom said no. Yeah. And then there's Spike, who I shared an elevator with. You've he's said that cool. like three times. I know, but he's cool. It was, it's kind of cool. And he was in Torchwood, so that made it cool, too. Then you have your townie tokens. Townies. Townies. You got a female, a male, townie. And then you got your little player markers there. And little stands to put them on. So three decks of cards. All right, so here is a deck of cards here. It is the plot cards, I believe, so... For your master, first evil, Mayor Wilkins, first evil. Glory, Caleb. Looks like a priest. I honestly don't know. I haven't got them yet. And then Adam, which I don't like Adam. But there are the back of their cards. So it kind of has like their character outline with different plot points. So you got a bunch of those for each of those guys. So we've got some artifact cards here. Nice. That does look kind of cool. It's really cool. Um, this isn't a linen finish, it's but not. it's uh, it is kind it's of sl glossy. slick. Um, so you can see the various artifacts that we've got here. Nice. And an arm. Groovy. <laughs> it's an arm, yeah. The bazooka. Rocket launcher. launcher. Yeah, close enough. But yeah. Um, I have the monster, the weak deck here. That one was like super cool. Like I should make you watch that one. That one was really good. Um, but there's yeah, there's the item. So these guys. So you got a couple different ones. Darla. Oh. So these are cool. Dracula, Graham, Gnarl, Demons, Mr. Trick. Salt and burn. Sweet yeah. The gentleman. They yeah. They were good. The judge and the trio. Alright, so I have an event deck here, which I think it looks really cool. You got the like the, the newspaper. newspaper there. And then you have all that these is actually really cool. Tons of events. You got more events too. Oh, we do have more events in this other deck, which we only have a few yeah, there. ran over. <laughs> here I have some items from the other deck too though. So I've got a couple of those. Garlic, holy water. Oh, I got a bunch of items too. Yeah, so I was gonna say I don't have nearly enough there. So, yeah, there's a whole stack of those. Those look pretty neat. Uh, I'll throw those a pencil. Wind so, stake. It's a, a pencil is a small wind stake, though. Yeah, that is true. Weapons. So, you got a lot of the same Magic ones supplies. Here. Yeah. Garlic. Garlic, yep. In case you decide to do some cooking. Yeah, I don't so, know about that. And then you get evil cards. Nice. Um, there's four of those. When you become evil. Oh. And, uh... Evil in actions. It is the same. Um, choose to. Yeah, we are. On the same side. Mhm. Mm huh. So I guess you can go evil. I guess. Yep. Yeah. That's good to know. But yeah. So we've got uh, well here. So there's items and events. Put the evil cards. Put the evil guys. And then you can put your artifacts on top of the events. Yep. There. Well, those are already punching out, so I'll just finish probably punching those out. And yeah. Yep. So That's it. that is Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Yes. And we will catch you guys next time. Bye. If you would like to support us, you can visit patreon.com slash dadvdaughter. Like and follow us on Facebook to stay current on our show schedule, sneak peeks at future shows, and to interact with us.